I'm Hannah Selleck. I'm a Team Coro rider. This is my horse, Rumple, and today we're going to be talking about lunging in the Pessoa rig. I like to use lunging a lot, especially with a horse like Rumpel. For Rumpel, it really helps prepare her to show. Mentally, it makes her quiet and also physically when she's a little bit fresh. It really gets her dialed in to listening to my voice and my aids. Another reason why I like to use lunging is to change up our training routine. Uh, it's a great way to stay off their backs and keep them fit and give them a break from day-to-day -day work riding or jumping. Uh, I like to lunge in a rubber bit. Um, it's just a personal preference that it's a soft connection from the hind strap to the mouth. Um, the roller always connects to the bit. Uh, and then we have this component. You wanna make sure each of these are even and you can tighten and loosen um, throughout your lunging session. Then we have the hind element that goes between the hock and the butt. These normally stay about even. Um, most horses, I'm able to keep them the same pressure. And then we have the surcingle, this nice fuzzy one, just make sure it's snug so your rig stays in place and there's no big gaps. And then the lunge line, I like to run up through the throat latch on both sides and down to the bit. Um, that way, if the horse gets a little fresh and they go to take off, your lunge line doesn't slide back or over their ears and then you lose control and that can be dangerous. She'll just take a little bit to like loosen up and get soft here. And then she'll start to stretch down and relax. So you can see there's a nice connection between the hind end to the front end. She's stretching her pole and her nose down and has a nice top line from her pole to her tail. Ideally, that's where I like to see them, nice and relaxed on the line, going forward and stretching those back muscles. Good girl. So she's pretty relaxed and soft in this direction. She's listening to my voice really well. So we can probably go ahead and switch to the right side. I always start different directions. Um, I alternate if I start tracking left or right because I find that they get smart and know which way is the last direction. So I don't like them to bulge or, or kind of predict what we're going to do and walk. Good girl, Rumpel. And I always love to let them walk and just stretch and cool out a little bit between the direction changes. Girl, rumple. So we have a nice working canter. To the right, rumple tends to lean out a little bit more and bulge, but she's pretty straight. Normally as she passes the end gate, she tends to suck that direction. A lot of horses know where that gate is. And since we're on the second direction, she's stretching a little bit easier, more relaxed, and walk. Good girl, and she can easily do a downward and is nicely dialed in here. So this is about where I like to see her, towards the end of our lunge, just a nice relaxed expression. She looks licking her lips there. And walk. Good girl. And you can tell she's really listening to my voice and is pretty, pretty prepared to show or for her lesson. This is where uh -uh. Ooh, where I like her to be. 
So when we undo the rig, I take the roller. Good girl. I take the roller and just snap it back to that ring of the surcingle. Pull the slack through and just tie it up. So once you have this all tied up on both sides, you just slip the tail through, make sure they know you're standing right there, and then your rig's all ready to go for the next session.